Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I need to shift this room around a little bit. I'm glad I... <laughs> It always when I when I make these rooms and design these rooms I think oh I should have put it in the other mode and I should have rearranged it a little bit different but anyway we're going to do the session here I have a friend here with me hello hello some of you may recognize Heather um from all me up baby that's our kind of sister business we have a essential oils business and we have just come up with this brilliant idea to do the wellness spa and introduce you guys to uh, a way of taking care of you. And we're gonna do other things inside it, but today's session is particularly about um, essential oils and introducing you to the Essential Oils Virtual Assistance, which is a book that you can find inside the swag bag for free. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about that now and just kind of uh, have a chat. You can ask questions and we'll see how it goes. Nice to see you here, Martha, Cheryl, Anna, Nikki, Connie. Yay, all these people. Jennifer, nice to see you. Welcome, Ken. Um, okay, so what? Well, yeah, so today we're going to talk about these essential oils. And I've created this wellness spa inside the virtual co-working space because obviously if you've been here throughout the day, you would have seen that we did different presentations and different sessions inside this area and we talked about all kinds of things from business to travel as nomads um we've done book club we've done mindset we've done all kinds of things because all of these things are relating to the virtual assistant and the success of the virtual assistant as well now what we're doing inside the wellness spa is once a month we are going to have a session in here where you can come with your woes, <laughs> your troubles, <laughs> with your woes and your troubles. And you'll see what kind of woes and troubles I have when we go through this book. Um, but always when I have some sort of issue or problem, I always say to Heather, what oil is for this? Or what can we do with this? Or is there an oil for this? And she helps me out. But we're also going to be introducing other things into this space as well. It's not just going to be about essential oils. We, um, I've lined people up who are in the area of EFT, which is tapping. What, what's the full? Emotional freedom technique. Emotional freedom technique. So if anyone is kind of aware of that, it's, it's kind of like where people do tapping on temples and parts of their face and shoulders and neck. And it's to release um, kind of uh, limiting beliefs, yeah. uh, that type of thing, things that are holding them back. It could also um, help you with gaining more confidence and kind of doing that type of thing. So that's going to help. Um, also, I want to get Gina in to oh. do, yeah, to do, uh, there's somebody who does breathing and breath work and things and like that. Yoga and stuff. Yeah. So kind of think of this space is a place where we take care of you. It's all about self-care, isn't it? Because it's so easy to get swept up in work, especially when you're self-employed, working from home, sat in front of a computer, deadlines to meet. It's easy to forget about yourself. It so it's is. about putting that self-care in place to, to make sure you're okay, because if you're not okay and you can't work, well, I don't think you get paid. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So when we're out of commission, and, and this yeah. is so important, the most important thing when you're working for yourself is to take care of yourself. Yeah. It's it's like you you've got to really take that very seriously and as a mom of five myself i honestly didn't for a long time i mean i i found myself health wise in a very bad place probably about i would say six or so years into my va business i'd had a few kids um and i literally had not cared about my health whatsoever and during that time as well there was a period of time i was living in italy and I was drinking so much wine. They had these like big three liter bottles of wine. And I would <laughs> drink a lot. And um, I would cook a lot in Italy. And there was a lot of pasta, I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> it was just a bad scene. Um, but I was working very, very long hours because it was a time when we were very busy um, in the business. And it was a time when I really, really worked my socks off um, just because I'm a workaholic in general, you know, but I didn't really pay attention very much 
to what it was doing to me on a on a physical level or an emotional level and how it was impacting the quality of my life at that time so then i kind of went on a health kick and i would say it's a health kick it was more kind of like a lifestyle change yeah, yeah a lifestyle change and i started to really study and look at things like nutrition and just generally self care um whether it be mentally emotionally physically i was thinking to myself if i keep going along this direction you know i'm not going to be going very far so I wanted to make um, changes and you pick things up along the way that you're super into you know I, I really got into rebounding which is like a little trampoline I still do do my little trampoline my bouncing and you know that was very and juicing as well yeah and I totally got into juicing I started off with like a 30 day juice fast and um, I kind of went into doing regular juicing after that so so there's a lot of things I've been into to kind of help course correct uh, myself and feel better and you absolutely do notice your energy levels changing how you feel changing um, how you wake up in the morning changing how you go to bed at night and the quality of your sleep changing and it's absolutely worth investing a little bit of time a little bit of energy into making sure you're okay but it's about being proactive and not reactive because when you get sick you kind of react and, and take things to make you feel better but it's about putting strategies and routines in place to stop you getting sick. Yeah. Because in your line of work, you you don't have time to be sick. You can't afford to be sick. You'll miss that contract. Nobody's giving you sick pay. So it's so important to be proactive with your self-care and your health. Yeah, definitely. So this wellness room or wellness spa inside virtual co-working space is something that we're going to be kind of doing a thing where we can bring people in and bring things in and obviously, if you guys do anything yourself that's relating to this, you know, um, or you, you do some kind of activity or you have something that is particularly centered around self-care that you want to share with other virtual assistants, we would love to invite you to come and tell us about it and tell people about it. Um, but for today, we wanted to introduce you to the oils okay so we have a, a website called allmeupbaby.com inside the swag bag you may have already gone there and downloaded this free book but we wanted to show you um, this version of it to kind of talk you through some of the very common things that I use essential oils for as a virtual assistant and things that really really help me on a daily basis I talked we talked about this the other day but the peppermint thing I think someone, oh no, I thought someone stolen my peppermint. Um, but this is such a very simple thing, but a very good thing. So I have this bottle of um, peppermint that I keep on my desk. Now, with the kids and stuff, you, you tend to get a lot of congestion, a lot of colds, um, that type of thing. And like, it was like the other day, I had this really like minging cold, it was horrible. And um, I had a lot of consults to do that day and I had to make some videos and you know, I do a lot of stuff on camera uh, with clients and things like that. And I needed a way to be able to breathe because um, otherwise you just sound pretty awful. So literally I just put this and in fact you can do it without a cold. It's nice just oh, to it's amazing. It's you know, refresh yourself, um, especially if you've been in the office all day or the cloppice, I'm in a cloppice. Um, and I just kind of put a few drops in my hands and just kind of breathe it in and inhale it in. It's all natural. And it, it really just, just kind of like refresh you and make you feel better. And then as soon as I started doing that, I started thinking, what else can I do with these things, you know, to, to help me in my business? And I'm going to talk you through a few, few of those things now. Heather is here because she is the one that comes up with everything that I comes up with all the solutions to my problems. <laughs> well, obviously that was true. Oh. <laughs> Not all my problems, obviously, but certainly anything like, you know, centered around this. So because she's here as a solutions person, I thought it would be nice to introduce you to her. You'll see her in the festival um, tomorrow and the day after, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, we're doing a couple of sessions um, about the oils, but we wanted to just introduce you in here to my signature book so michelle and i sat together and we talked about what vas do 
what kind of issues, what problems they come up with and what they face on a day to day basis. So we were looking at making this kit totally all about Michelle and totally VA related. So everything that can help her in life. So she's sharing this one with me. Yeah, and we picked out, we had loads actually. Um, it's hard to narrow it yeah, down. Yeah, we had to narrow it down and really pick out um, some things which are really, you know, sort of classic that I, I was thinking to myself, okay, well, if there were other people like me out there, they would have the same issues. So basically, if you're interested in anything inside this book, we you can go to allmeupbaby.com forward slash oils. Heather can do a consultation with you if you are interested in the oils or want to ask her about anything about the oils, and you can book the consultation there as well. Um, so that's a free consultation. If any of this sparks your interest, I'm really not the oils person. I'm the problem person, and Heather is the oils person. So she's the best person to talk to <laughs> about that. So this book, it really is about me and what I wanted to use as a virtual assistant to to kind of help me in my day and we kind of made an accumulation of all that and if you haven't seen it or you don't know these are little bottles of doTERRA essential oils so like this one here I've got quite a collection now thanks to them of magic they are little little bottles of joy I call them that's a nice one. joy <laughs> um and they do so many different things it's just unfathomable um i mean obviously we're talking about them for virtual assistants but i use them with the kids you can use them with pets you can yeah. use them for work you can i i've got a husband Cleaning. who's a kite surfing instructor so we're using it for yeah, lots of muscle stuff. things and sport things um so yeah like, i use them in cooking all the time cooking i yeah well don't get the shells to cocktails, <laughs> cocktails. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute we'll talk about that's, that's coming um, but if you're interested as well, you can scan this area and you can also go and find out how and, and where to get the oils. Um, but like I say, if you want to talk to Heather, that's fine too. So inside this book, we've got something I've called power bottles, which are roller bottles. I think I've got one up there, but uh, we can... Is there one in there? No. In that box? No. Oh, maybe it's dropped down. Oh, I was going to show you oh, one. Oh, there's a little one, yes. Oh, yeah. So this um, is a little roller bottle. And I call these little power bottles because you can put things in them and do loads of different things, like put them on the temples. Um, I even use one for perfume. Because yeah, one oil on its own is great, but when you mix them together, when you combine them, you can create absolutely phenomenal things. Yeah. So these roller bottles are great because you, you've pre-diluted them so they're suitable for everyone, and you've mixed together a combination of the oils. Yeah. And they just sit in your pocket. But if you're sat at a desk, or going out to work in a cafe or something like that, you can just stick this in your handbag, leave it on your desk. It's like fairly inoffensive. Yeah, it's not very really practical to take like four little bottles of oils and sit there pouring them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice and handy. Okay, so we've got a power bottle for creativity and energy because I do a lot of projects which require a lot of energy <laughs> and a lot of creativity, hence the name. Um, <laughs> Also headache, I do get screen headaches quite a lot, yeah. particularly if I've had a really long day in front of the screen, I, I do tend to get screen headaches. You get screen headache, but also like tension headache from being on the computer and sitting there all day. Yeah. Coming from your neck, you must get headaches. Yeah, that's and true. And if you're forgetting to hydrate, I bet you also get dehydration headache. Yes, that's true. I do, I do not drink enough water, I should. Um, so there's that, so uh, we've got a roller bottle for that, and also I don't like taking paracetamol and things like that, like it, to me it's a last, last, last resort. Um, and then we've got one for focus, because obviously VAs we have to focus a lot, particularly on the computer and things like that. So the next thing we've got is the diffuser blend, so I don't have a diffuser, oh I do, you do I have a little office button. diffuser here, excuse me, um, <laughs> but that was a treat. Um, so. <laughs> So we've got this little diffuser. This is my little office diffuser. Oh look, you can see it's coming out there. Isn't it cool? These are nice for the office, the little ones, and they're charged by USB. Yeah, I just so love it's it. Perfect for a little office. So you can, I charge it in the computer, and I just put blends in there. So you can get like a little office diffuser or a normal diffuser, and I've got ones in there uh, for glue to the computer, meeting new clients, um, energizing your workflow, morning mindset, which. We'll get to that in a second, but it's relating to one of the rooms here. Um, calm and focus and work shine. So that's the diffuser, and that is my office diffuser. Um, and I use the blends inside there. <clears throat> and then the second thing, or the third thing, sorry, is little rituals. 
So I have these little rituals. I, I really like to keep a clean office. You wouldn't think after the disaster I've had today in here, oh, I've literally been throwing things around and getting next session. And blah, blah, blah. So it definitely needs a good clean up. But there's a screen cleaner that you can use. And I really don't like using chemicals either. So the screen cleaner is nice because it's chemical free. And then there's the aching muscle, muscles massage oil, which is a, an equivalent. You can actually, it's a full massage oil. Yeah. So, you know, get your husband or wife, essentially, to help you out there. <laughs> or you can just, like, you know, if you get, like, carpal tunnel syndrome and things like that, or just, like, aching hands. Sometimes when I've been sat, like, on in click position, I call it click position all the time, you know, like, moving the mouse around. It's like, you can, it can really affect your hands. Um, you can rub it into your hands. And then there's the facial spritz as well. So, like, if you want to refresh yourself before a consultation call or doing a video or something like that, you can... Just so you're feeling really exhausted. And, like, you know when you hit the wall or, like, screen and you're just thinking, oh, I need a wake, just to totally refresh it up. Yeah. Lift you, just energise you. The screen, uh, the facial spray is great for that. Yeah, absolutely. And then we've got take a break. So these are our recipes. And I'm actually going to walk you through these recipes in all this book right now. So take a break is about, you know, coffee, Cheers. cocktails, <laughs> food, that Cheers. type of thing. <laughs> you were quite specific with what you wanted in this. Yeah. Like, I need coffee to get through life. Um, I juice every day. I think it's fantastic. It's really changed my yeah. life. You know, I, I like the gin. Mm -hmm. So she was very specific about what she wanted in this. And then we just found a way to oil up. Yeah, absolutely. So these are my essential go-tos, or essential wheel go-tos, as a virtual assistant. So the power bottles are in here. And again, they're very simple recipes. All you need is these little bottles, some fractionated coconut oil. And then we've got four bottles, for example, inside the creative and energy roller. And then we've got the headache tension one, which again, is just four oils. But it really, really makes a difference. They really, really do work. Um, and I I do not, like, go and reach. And it's also good for the kids, too. I don't like, you know, if, if any of my kids say I've got a headache or something like that. I really don't like giving them paracetamol. Well, we're going to talk about this tomorrow, actually. Yeah. And look at some really simple headache techniques and things you can use the oils for tomorrow. Oh, great. Um, and then there's the focus one. Again, it's just four oils and really super simple. And all you do is put the fractionated coconut oil in with the oils and... Job then done. it's pre-diluted because with some of the essential oils they need to be diluted some people you know might have sensitive skin so if you're diluting them one it makes your oils go further which is great because then if you're looking at price per drop they're yeah. really cost effective yeah actually they generally work out cheaper than loading yourself up with paracetamol or my relief or anything like that yeah. um but then they're dil diluted so they're nice and gentle on the skin and you can just pick them up and you're ready to go yeah absolutely um, then we'll move into our take a break. So the first thing I wanted in there was bulletproof coffee. I love bulletproof coffee because I do like a sort of low carby type of diet, I suppose. I don't, I try not to eat a lot of carbs. I love carbs. Love them. But your time I try is not to spoil that for you. <laughs> <laughs> so the bulletproof coffee is a good one. And that vanilla is incredible. I, I put it in my coffee. I put it in all kinds Vanilla's of things. Amazing. It's just fantastic. Um, so that's made with vanilla. And then the vodka and cherry grapefruit cooler. I love how Martha's put a camera on at this stage. Because <laughs> <laughs> <All the cocktails. laughs> Let's get into this one. <laughs> okay, so then we've got this cooler, which is cherries and vodka. I do like vodka because, again, it, there's no carbs <laughs> in vodka. There was a bit more kind of method in my madness with this one because grape, um, cherries are full of melatonin. So actually okay. they help you sleep better. Now, I think if you're staring at the screen all day, it might be quite hard to wind down, quite hard to come away from yeah. it and go to sleep. So the cherries was a really good one. Obviously, it's fresh, it's nice and fruity, but it's really good for you to have that deep quality sleep. Yeah. So there was a bit more method in my madness with that one. Yeah. The only thing you need to watch with the grapefruit is if anyone's got high cholesterol, not to have grapefruit. Mm, okay. Just throwing that out there. Uh, another thing I want to throw out there with the grapefruit is I specifically asked for it because it is my favourite oil. Grapefruit is my favorite oil. I don't know why I love it. I put it in water. Mm. Um, I have I make these little shots, like in the morning, and I put turmeric oil, um, ginger oil, lemon oil, and grapefruit oil yeah. in this little shot and down it. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> I can't explain to you. If you if you're looking for like three power boost, a boost, so it's complete immunity cover. It's going to give you your vitamins. 
just a whole energizing boost. Yeah, and I'm I'm really all about convenience. I, I like a lot of convenience in my life, and this is also why I like the oils, because it's super convenient. You don't have to juice fruits and blend them and blitz them. It's just drop, drop, drop. Yeah, so I was looking about these turmeric and lemon and ginger shots and the health benefits and things like that, and I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered to grate the ginger and <laughs> stir the turmeric in and squeeze the lemon. I mean, I'm, I'm lazy when it comes to that type of See, stuff. See, you get that turmeric on you. Boy, does it stain, not the oil, uh, the real stuff. Yeah, it does. You get oh, yellow fingernails. Yeah. Mm. Um, so now I just drop the oils in and I've got my shot. It's brilliant. <clears throat> I love grapefruit. Uh, the next thing is anti-inflammatory green juice. I do find that when I've been sat in the chair for a long time, you you do kind of just feel very inflamed. <laughs> just, you know, being sat down for too long. I really want to get one of those stand-up desks. Oh, really? Yeah. With walking pad? No. <laughs> too far, too far. <laughs> on a treadmill. Yeah. yeah. That's all the rage these days. Just on your walking pads. I want to get. I I do like the stand up desks. I do feel like I sit down too much. Um, but this green juice is is really great. It's very cleansing and very detoxing. And again, it's got the ginger in and the lemon, which I love. So I have it in the green juice and I have it in the shots. It's just fantastic. Physically, these oils are amazing for you. But there's a whole lot of other emotional and spiritual aspects to them mm. as well. So the lemon's really cleansing, not only physically but energetically. So it's good to take in the morning, clear all that negativity away, get rid of that inner voice in your head that's meh, 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 in your ear. Um, and it's really good to set you up. Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to talk more about this as, as we go through. Um, and then also we've got the sesame ginger salad dressing. It's so convenient and great. I love to eat a lot of salad, but I don't necessarily just love the taste of lettuce on its own. Um as you do, but when you make this thing, you just keep it in the fridge, and then it encourages me to eat healthier, because rather than think, oh, I'll go and eat a sandwich, or, you know, something like that, or, or noodles, my kids love noodles, I really need to get them off those, um, but you, if you make this salad dressing up, it forces you kind of like, well, I'll make the salad, and I'll it's just pour some it's there. there. Yeah, it's convenience food, but healthy convenience food. Um, and this one has got some different oils in it, but um, ginger is the base of that one. And again, I love ginger. So the good thing with these is that you can mix and match. So you can say, "Why well, like if it were zingy," and you could throw some lemon oil in there, or you could mm. add some grapefruit. You know, we've made these recipes, but you can actually play around with them a little bit more. I use the lemon all the time because when I buy lemons, I they tend to just kind of not get used. Sometimes the lemons here are like. The size they're, they're like yeah. little lines and they shrivel up quite quickly. They do, they go dry yeah. quite quickly. Um, but instead now in everything, when I make tzatziki, uh, I put it in water. I, I use I use this lemon oil in everything. Anything that has lemons in it, I use the lemon oil as a substitute and I think it's better. I do. Yeah. Uh, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the gin. So we had to have a gin drink in here. I'm a very big fan of gin. Um, again, it's carb free. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> we've got watermelon and lime gin fizz. I love watermelons and love limes. Um, so that's in here. So it's the lime oil again. And it's like, you can't get limes here actually. No, you can't. Um, you can find them like imported ones, which are super expensive. So when you can't get hold of something, it's just fantastic to have a little bottle of it. Like, yeah. and it's coming from the actual fruit. Um, so that's another, you know, after dinner, after work drink. Yeah, that's a kickback or, and relax. Or at work drink if you're working in the evenings and, you know, you want to sort of make it better. <laughs> I don't know. How you you think you've earned it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do often, you know, I work late, late a lot because sometimes I have to wait till the kids have gone to bed. If not, if I've got something to finish, mm. I'll come in the office in the evening and, you know, when you can bring a nice drink in with you or something like that, refreshing drink, you know, it makes it just a little bit easier, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice refreshing one. And instead of having to squeeze a couple of lemons, it's just, sorry, a couple of limes, it's just a couple of drops. Yeah, put the lime in. And, again, and, you, and again, you can use that in dips. I put it in um, guacamole. I, yes. I put it in so many things. Uh, and then we've got cranberry and lemon energy balls. Again, these are really super simple. Um, I love the energy balls because I know sometimes it's hard to drag yourself away from the computer. You know, you're back to back with calls, you've got loads of stuff going on. 
These are great to just have sitting on your desk and when you feel that blood sugar, sugar level dropping, just to pop a power ball in. Yeah, and again, it will prevent you from reaching for the things that you don't really want to reach for. Um, yeah, because otherwise you finish and you're like, okay, I've had a hard day and I haven't eaten. And yeah, and also you can batch make these, and I think they freeze quite well. Yeah, pop them in the freezer. Yeah. And just take a couple out for that day and sit them on your desk and you're good to go. Yeah. Um, and then we move on to the diffuser blend. So like we were talking about earlier, you know, like you can get a little office diffuser like this, or you can get a larger diffuser for a larger space. I only have a tiny office, my little office, um, which is kind of like tucked away from the rest of the house. And I, I love it in here, actually. It's just like my little... It's a little safe haven, a little safe space. Yeah, yeah. It's my little room. Um, so I diffuse glue to the computer. So there's descriptions on all of these diffuse blends. I'm a little bit conscious of time. Um, so <laughs> I'll keep these short, but obviously go and download this or come and watch it in, you know, come and take a look at it in the room. You can go full screen if you want to here um, with this second bit here. But great for meeting new clients. If you want, you know, a boost to confidence. Um, if you want, if you're about to meet a new client and you want to kind of like, I, I strongly believe in setting the tone and setting the mood for things. Um, and I do like these blends for that reason. But also smells, they have a real memory. I mean, sometimes you'll smell something that'll take you back to when you were six years old in yeah. some random place. So kind of programming yourself with these positive scents, it's like, okay, now I'm ready to go, ready to work. Oh, right, this is a new client smell. So it's really good to keep changing it. Yeah, absolutely. We've got energizing workflow, so things in here for energy to to give you that boost, just to help you feel better generally. And especially, I don't know whether you're in the UK, but when I used to work in the UK and I used to see it like all grey and miserable outside and things like that, it really used to affect me. Yeah, and you come into work and it's dark, and you leave work and it's still dark. Yeah, I'm sure I had that seasonal affective disorder or oh, something. Oh, sad. Yeah. Yeah, because it really did affect me, and I think having this in the UK, which I didn't have when I lived there twenty years ago. Um, would have been really helpful and really good, particularly like if you live somewhere where the weather isn't great. I think mm. this is like super helpful. Um, then we've got our morning mindset. So those of you who are in the morning mindset room this morning would have noticed um, that we did our daily accountability practice in there. And I, I named this morning mindset. So I do think this is the best um, diffuser blend for doing the morning mindset and doing the visualization and thinking about your goals and kind of getting yourself prepared and ready for the day. Um, so put this one on when you're in virtual co-working space doing the morning sessions. And then we've got calm and focus because who doesn't need a bit of that, right? Definitely. <laughs> and I need that more than most with five kids and three pets. Um, <laughs> and then we've got workshop for our digital nomads. So I have to have something travelly in there. Uh, we obviously work in the sun. Um, I'm not using much in the classroom. <laughs> Heather's Hi. teacher, by the way, by trade. <laughs> um, so we've got that one too. So if you if you want to stick on a bit of sunshine in your office, you can do that. And then we've got our rituals finally. So we've got our screen cleaner, which is such simple ingredients, but it does a brilliant job. Thing is, if you're sitting by your computer all day, the last thing you want is it covered in chemicals. So you're touching them with your fingers and it's absorbing into your skin, we need to try and get away from all this toxic overload. Yeah, so inhaling many, it as yeah, well. Inhaling it, touching it, all sorts of stuff. There's so many chemicals out there that we have no control over. And at least by doing these tiny little changes within your home, gives you back a little bit of control and tries to get rid of some toxic overload. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's cheaper. Much cheaper. Too. Much cheaper, yeah, than, than buying the chemical products. Mm. Um, and also, you, you, you only have like, I mean, if we go back to that one, that little bottle of lime, you can make... Well, there's 250 drops in that bottle. Yeah. And there's five drops in the recipe. Yeah. So that bottle's going to last you forever. Unless you put it in cocktails and other things. <laughs> it's still going to last <laughs> a long time. <laughs> and then you've got the ach aching muscles mash. See, this is me. This is me all day. This picture is literally me, but blonde. Um, but this is something you can keep by your desk. And if you're like, I'm just getting achy, you can just rub mm -hmm. it on quickly. Or like you say, turn it into more of a proper massage yeah but also I have a baby I have a one-year-old so I'm often carrying the baby a lot and it, I feel it you know on the shoulder and things like that and you often have to sit in awkward positions with her and 
Um, so that's really good. And then we've got the Energizing Facial Spritz recipe, which is smells divine, by the way. Um, some really lovely smelling oils in there. And again, refresh yourself. Do it when you're feeling sluggish. Do it when you need a boost of energy. You know, spritz your face, throw an energy ball in. <laughs> yeah, that'll propagate the undergo. Wake yeah, you up and revitalize you. Um, so this is just going to, I think it makes me a better VA um, having these bottles of oil in my life. It, re it really does. I think it does. And it certainly helps me um, to get through some of the daily challenges that occur as a virtual assistant, working in the office, sitting down all day, having a lot of issues in terms of I, like posture issues and things like that, you know, like, like it's really, really helpful. So this is our wellness spa. This is where we will be every month. Um, Heather will be joining me, um, so that will be fun. But we'll also, like I say, be joining uh, with other special guests, other people who do things specifically with people who have sit-down jobs or work remotely. Um, and it's just a kind of place where we can get together and, and kind of brainstorm, take, brainstorm and take care of you. And if there's something, like I say, it, like I said at the beginning in particular, that you think will be helpful for other virtual assistants in this space in terms of self-care, then you can also share those too. We'd love you to do that. So we are now at 6.30 in 15 minutes. We've got our final session of the day. We're heading over to the cocktail bar. I am not doing a kind of formal anything session for this. It's just kind of a place where we can all go and get together. I'm probably going to leave my office now because all my kiddos are at home at this time in the evening. So I'm going to transition onto my laptop um, for that. And if you guys have any questions about today, about the sessions today, anything that you want to ask, anything that I haven't covered that you wanted to cover today, this final session is your opportunity and your chance to, to kind of participate and do that. Um, so if anything has been missed, if you missed any of the sessions and you wanted to specifically ask something, this is the only open day inside virtual co-working space that we're doing. If you want to join virtual co-working space and become a member, I would definitely encourage you to do it now before the price goes up after the 7th when we close off the festival. So I would love to invite you in here. I'd love to invite you to join. Um, but for now, we will see you in about 15 minutes inside the cocktail bar area where I'm going to go and get a drink <laughs> after today. <laughs> yes, I am. It's a glass of wine. It's wine o'clock time. And what do you put in your wine? I put oil in my wine. Yeah, it's really I do. Good. It's brilliant. I tell you, pour a glass of white wine. Um, bergamot oil is, is I love oh, that. Yeah. And lemon in the wine too. Um, and particularly if you've not got like a really super good quality wine and it's a little bit acid, acidy, you know, sometimes wine you get like a little bit of acid. I get like instant heartburn, like pure burning as I'm drinking, I can feel it burning. Oh yeah, I feel so sorry for you about that. I know, but if I put two drops of lemon in, nothing. <laughs> yeah, she always, she, I, I saw you in Clubhouse once and you put that, <laughs> I'd get your little bottle Take out. Take it out with me. In the, the restaurant. <laughs> She's roofing herself or something. And you yeah. get a couple of drops of lemon in and... Honestly, no she takes it. those oils everywhere. I do. I just love them. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you over there shortly. I'm transitioning onto the laptop, so I may or may not have my camera on, but I'll certainly be around. And if you want to have ask me any questions in there, now is your chance. Or if you just want to summarise and kind of chill out and hang out with us, then you're more than welcome. So thank you so much. I'll see you, you there in 15 minutes. Bye.